Please <laughs> take a bunch of stickers. But anyways, game one of Winner's Round 2. We're watching Chess and Loser Lab. This is Tactical Dinner. The amazing Tactical Dinner. What a name. I love an Arthur. Also, I believe. Yeah, Arthur. I feel like they just like, made new accounts on Xbox or something. And they just kept those names. <laughs> it really did. That's really what it was. But anyways, we're watching Ganondorf and Link. What would be the strategy with this? They're both doing hella damage. Ganondorf's dead. Tactical Dinner's dead <laughs> already. <laughs> Offstage against Villager as Gandalf or any yeah, character. Watch, watching D offstage with Villager, the way he uses the, him to get Gimps is, is sometimes unfair, it seems like. <laughs> like it's just sometimes not okay. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, Tentacle Dinner has lost his stock very early, putting these guys in a very tough position. Yeah, especially as the heavyweight of his team, he has to be. Yeah, he's got to hold his stock. He's easy to get Gimp, but he has to hold his stock. So, hey! Hey! Reese over here. Cause some problems. Oh, he might almost get got him again. Off. Tactical Dinner has to get back on stage, and he is back on stage. It's great. I feel like Alucard might have to help out a little bit. Yeah. Keep him off his part. It's, it's hard though, because he's got Sonic. He's got Chez all over him, right? As you yeah, can see right but now. But he is playing Link. You're right. A nice quick arrow. He did it. In a lot. solid four smash from Auto Carbon, getting Chez off of him. <laughs> As I was saying, Chez was too much to handle. He four smashes and gets the kill. But uh, 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 I. They both so, just died. Yeah. Tactical Dinner know. just got spiked, and yeah, Auto Carbon just get, got get, or, uh, no! SD'd there. Anyways, oh my god. You see, yeah, Chez going for a uh, nice little back throw to down air from the D there. Trying to do a nice little Super Girl Kills <laughs> spring ride up there. Oh yeah. And again, D with an amazing edge yeah, guard once again. Killing really, really, also because he has rage, but also because they're offstage close to the last line. So they, they've got to be careful. They don't want to go to the side D zone because it looks like he's just eating up their stocks right now. Yeah, he's doing he's doing a really good job just baiting over there and then just punishing for Chess cooking up a forward smash and was able to connect it, putting Ganondorf in a really bad spot, especially on the side of the stage where D is. <laughs> that is another stock almost gone. Uh, all right. Oh, so, oh. Just down these. I think, did that just get rid of the tree? I think it did. It just. Link, what, they're just beat out the, uh, <laughs> the hitbox from the tree. Okay. Why is Gandalf so strong? Gandalf is a broken. I don't know if you know about that. But anyways, Auto Carbon is off stage against D. It manages to get back to the ledge, so that's safe. Ooh. Again, Chez with these sneaky forward smashes. They have to be careful. The signs for smashes. It's forced to be very strong. Oh, solid spike! Oh. But he gets gimped in the process. He didn't see it coming. Setting up the 2v1. Yeah, Chez down Auto Carbon at nine, oh, 100, over 100%. Yes. Against these two, it's never uh, fun, especially when Chez can get a quick down throw to bowling ball. Yeah, and we've seen that time and time again. Even when I teamed him at a smash, uh, smash conference, I was charged by this forward smash. <laughs> but, and here we are, doing a new I think that strategy. Was maybe for style. I think they're going for style here. Or and just again. But the solid again, nice quality again. But anyways, that puts Chez and Loser Lab up game one. His best of three set. Nothing we weren't too surprised about. D getting the gifts that he's gotten before so many times. Yeah. Yeah. And Chez being as pesky as Sonic can be. Driving a lot of this with Just playing that support and make sure no one knows. No one gets a teammate. Supporting, supporting with those forward smashes as well. This solid pivot forward smash, he just sneaks oh, yeah. in. You never see them coming, but they take the stock so early. Nice steal in the stock, especially on ledge. That's going like that much. So Dean was feeling really comfortable, so comfortable that he switched off the villager to go yeah, to Bayonetta. It sounds like someone else who just did that. But <laughs> hey, come on, this again. Hey, we won though. What are you talking about? <laughs> barely. <laughs> You're right. We barely won. But anyways, now we see Bayonetta, Sonic, as a team combo. What about the synergy here? What, what are we gonna see? See Bayonetta, and Sonic. You know, Bayonetta, one of those characters that can. Combo pretty much off of anything. Chez is just as you say that. Like yeah. Chez is just give him something, and he can up B it or side B or something, and you get like the whole Bayonetta conversion off of it. And we've seen recent Bayonetta tournaments how their Bayonetta is not weak anymore. Like oh, no. not considered to be weak. Okay. Bayonetta still has her combos. Getting a solid gimp on Ganondorf. It doesn't matter who he plays. Villager, Bayonetta, he's still getting gimps on Ganondorf. Both of those characters are very good. Very, players. very good off stage. So now, oh man, this is looking even worse than it was before. <laughs> oh, 
this might be bad. Chez and D might have found a better combo. Yeah, especially, especially for these two characters when they have trouble hitting like Chez by themselves. And then they got D over here throwing out Bayonet's broken hitboxes. Yes. With the upbees and side bees. See how Anyways, we'll see. It looks like they slow down, they stop the bleeding a little bit. Let's see if they can go ahead and gain control and get these stocks, because they're gonna have to. Looking at Auto Carbon is sitting at 90, 89% on his second stock. Yeah, they good. have yet to lose a stock. I think he double jumped. Yeah, he double jumped. Oh, yeah. You really gotta be careful with those jumps, man. Yeah, yeah, okay, so now, now we're seeing a very big deficit. Oh, oh, and a solid D going for a solid read here with a down smash. Yeah. We are looking at almost a 6 0. Oh. That looked good for Red Team. Oh, and a solid! The same exact thing. Just as I say that, Tactical yeah. Dinner getting a solid. Let's go, pretty, pretty awesome downer there. Auto card. Looks like he's struggling off stage here. Mm. Mm, yeah, <laughs> struggling off stage. Feel like he has to pick these different options. We gotta you know, pick. Like, it looks like Auto Card is and auto card. He just getting these up, these. Anyways, like we said before, Blue Team is just. Chez and D are just controlling the stage presence so well. Yeah, they're just not giving them any control, especially with Sonic out there. He can't do much, like, look at this. Yeah, now, Hollow Carbon at 123%. And against four stocks. We'll yeah. see what he can do. We'll see how creative we can get here. This is, um... Oh, the edge guard situation. Oh, uh, that jumps on stage with a risky downer. Uh -oh. Is it down oh, no. up, oh, up, down, throw to anything. Yeah, really. people, a lot of people don't know that um, Sonic's down throw routine is really good, but you can also avoid stuff like that if you just DI down or tech throw. Oh, and there you go. So I'll keep that in mind next time I play a Sonic. I did not know that was a thing. Hey, is DI down, DI down and tech. <laughs> and then you get out of all of their stupid follows. I guess we'll uh, keep that in mind, especially if you're going against the, the, the Chez.